So I will present our precise positioning solutions from ANAVS. First, let me give a brief overview of my talk. I will very shortly explain our management board, say the target markets of ANAVS, come to our products, latest product performance demonstrations, and then go to our reference customers. ANAVS was founded in Munich in Germany in 2011. It was done by me. I'm having a technical background. I have a PhD and a habilitation from the Technical University of Munich, where I'm also a lecturer. Further members of our management board are Andrea Sperl, Peter Schmitz, and Professor Christoph Günther. The target markets of ANAVS are maritime market, but also robotics and automation, the automotive industry, UAVs, the drones, and surveying. As a market is hydrology. On this slide, I'm showing you our multi-sensor RTK PPP module of ANAVS. On the top, you see the maritime edition. So it's very robust against water, fulfilling highest IP norms. And on the lower one, our industrial edition. It includes up to three multi-frequency, multi-GNSS receivers. It's three because we are not only providing position, but also 3D attitude, heading, roll, and pitch angle. Moreover, we have a high-performance IMU with a bias stability of three degrees per hour. And of course, it has an integrated LTE module for the reception of RTK or PPP corrections and an ARM processor for running our tightly coupled sensor fusion. And we offer various interfaces such as Ethernet, Wi-Fi, CAN, LTE, for adding either further sensors or for outputting our position information. Now for most demanding applications, so where we have, for example, jamming, spoofing, or no GNSS at all, we have an integrated sensor platform, which offers not only three GNSS antennas and the high performance IMU, but it also has vision sensors, such as this high performance camera, which takes 163 pictures per second, has a global shutter and a high resolution. But we also have a 3D LiDAR, which is providing range measurement, a 3D scan of the environment. And on top of it, we have our powerful sensor fusion and an NVIDIA board integrated in this platform. Finally, there's also an LTE module inside for the reception of RTK or PPP corrections. What are the customer benefits of this platform? First of all, it is very easy and fast to install because you do not need to install a cable for each individual sensor. You do not need to make a manual and often error prone determination of the lever arm between each sensor. And there's no need for an individual synchronization because all of this is done within our ISP. It has, of course, the powerful sensor fusion. You can get access to the raw data. And we believe it is the ideal platform for localization, mapping, and object detection. The third product of ANAVS is the reference station. Uh, it has, of course, only one GNSS receiver inside, high performance antenna. Uh, might be actually is the receiver we are offering, the one from Septendrio, which will be presented in a later talk, uh, but all the one from Uplox uh, has an integrated barometer for differential height determination, and it fulfills all the typical standards for, for exchanging position or raw data, so RTCM standards. Yeah, and of course it's having a self-calibration with our PPP solution. I would like to show you some performance demonstrations that we have done within the Prepare Ships project uh, uh, together funded from the GSA. So here you see the performance results for the PPP solution, the precise point positioning solution that does not rely on corrections from a reference station. It's a pure standalone solution, and thereby it is not relying on having a 
an internet link nor on having a reference stage. So it's an absolute positioning. It's something that is technically much more demanding because you have to estimate a number of further errors like the atmosphere, like site displacement effects, but you can still in principle get a comparable accuracy. So what you see here, the left plot shows the horizontal accuracy in north versus east, and you see it's in the range of plus minus two decimeters, or even better, quite often, so 10 centimeters, and this is for a standalone solution. No need of internet links or RTK corrections. The plot on the right refers to the down component. Of course, we also have an RTK system, but I will show it later. Here you see some results for the vessel. So the left plot shows to the initial convergence process. So there you see how it converges to it. And then once it has converged, you see here some slight variations, but they are all the cost because the vessel is of course moving a little, shaking a little. Um, now over a long time during the movement of the vessel, you have here the position offset between the PPP solution on the one hand side and the RTK solution. And you see there's a certain difference, a systematic offset that refers to different coordinate frames. There's a SWEPOS reference frame and the international terrestrial reference frame. And if you correct for this systematic error, then you will get to this plot. So you can see that our absolute PPP solution has here an error of, let's say, plus minus 10 centimeter for the one sigma value. And if you also include outliers in your plus minus 30 centimeters after this initial convergence process, of course. Now, we are not only working for the maritime business, but also for the automotive one, which is typically much more challenging in the sense of having multipass signal reflections, signal outages when you go below trees, the reflections in there. So I also would like to take the opportunity to show you two or three slides on this one. The system again used is our multi-sender RTK module. Here you can see the two GPS antennas mounted on top of our car. And here's a map of the environment in the city center or downtown of Munich, Germany. And yeah, there was performed no map matching. So not like your car navigation device is doing, which is simply mapping it on the road. It's a actual outcome of our solution. And obviously you see it's a very smooth trajectory. And now if you would like to challenge it even more here, you see the height of the buildings is around twice as high as the width of the road. So a lot of GNSS signals are blocked and then if you go to an even more challenging environment in downtown Munich, you see here the trajectory. I try to go with my mouse pointer over it. So, uh, and that's so powerful thanks to our sensor fusion. GNSS alone, but of course not yet gives us performance. Yeah, we have sold our solution already to various customers, including automotive manufacturers, some of them you have heard, Volkswagen or Ford, a lot of suppliers, because they are quite strong in Germany, all in the world, and of course, also to other companies. Yeah, and here are my contact data. I'm Patrick Henkel. Might be you take a look at our website, Anastie, or also on the nice market board uh, from, from GNSS Asia, where you can find a little more information. So, I'm really glad that you took part and I'm open for any questions. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for introducing your company. It looks like you have built a really nice business there with very many reference customers. Um, a quick question comes to mind when I look at Asia. Um, have you made some first strides into Asia? Uh, and what is your product particularly, uh, well, to what extent is it particularly suitable for the tropical areas or for the areas that we're talking about? Yeah, thank you, Rainer, for this very good question. So in the tropical area, you have, of course, a little more challenging conditions. From GNSS point of view, you have higher ionospheric activity with scintillations. And in that sense, ANAFS has tested its system um, in the Belts Plus project, building links between Europe and Asia in Vietnam at a number of facilities where we have demonstrated uh, that it works there as well, very accurately. We were even able to improve the mapping 
because the Google Earth maps are not so accurate. So having a very accurate position from us enables us also to get very accurate maps that was shown there. And besides of it, we have sold it to a number of customers in Asia, especially in, in China and Japan. 